the unpardonable sin is to attribute the work of the Holy Spirit to the power of Satan in the face of undeniable evidence to the contrary. Now, there's only one passage of Scripture in the Bible that talks about the unpardonable sin. When Jesus was performing miracles and the Pharisees who were watching him in absolute undeniable evidence that he was the Son of God. And they said, this is the work of the devil. They attributed the undeniable evidence of the Son of God performing his miracles in the power of God, and they attributed it to the devil. That circumstance will never happen exactly that way again. You cannot commit the unpardonable sin. For the simple reason, there is no sin that God will not forgive you of. There is not an unpardonable sin, but an unpardonable state. That is, if you die without Christ, that is an unpardonable state. There is no second chance on the other side. And so when you think about sins in your life and you say, well, I think I've committed the unpardonable sin. Any sin that you can name, God gives us examples in the scripture where he's forgiven that very sin. Now, why do you think God would not forgive you when he died at the cross and atoned for all of your sin, past, present, and future? The issue here is not that whether he will forgive you or not, but are you willing to accept his forgiveness? You see, part of the problem is not that God won't forgive us, but we won't forgive ourselves. And therefore, because we cannot feel forgiven because of the way we look at that sin, we think, well, God doesn't forgive me. You have to distinguish between what you feel and what God says. God says, if you confess your sin and you're sincere about it, he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And he does not say, unless you have committed the unpardonable sin. For example, the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He doesn't say, unless you've committed the unpardonable sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life, unless they've committed the unpardonable sin. Nowhere is that in the scripture. You cannot commit that sin. You can can die in an unpardonable state, but you cannot commit an unpardonable sin. The atoning death of Jesus covered every single sin.